uh, Nkrumah with regards to the PDA and also declaring Ghana as a one-party state. And um, Osei Bonsu Dixon, who's a senior corporate lawyer, was just telling me about the impact of the PDA on our current constitution. Yes, I, I, I have discussed the issues about entrenched provisions relative to fundamental human rights. Mm -hmm. If you look at Article 3 of the Constitution, it also entrenches um, a norm in this country that Parliament cannot cavort Ghana into a one-party conundrum. You can't turn Ghana into a one-party state. You've heard from your earlier guest the they had, how do you apotheosize a situation where the reasons they yeah, gave yeah, why. Yeah, what did you think of this reason? I thought, I mean, from a legal perspective, I'm speaking actually as a lawyer. I mean, from a legal perspective, there was no foundation to it. But, but I, from a social perspective? From a social perspective, I find it condemnable because we are different people with different aspirations and we can be catered for adequately with good political tolerance in some kind of symbiosis. We need we need various trends of political parties to air out different. The fact that some will not attend parliament and were boycotting it was not enough justification to put the whole of Ghana under the umbrella of one party. That My director said some of the words he used this morning is too big that the late people will not well, understand. So we'll just keep it very, very, very simple. Okay.